brain tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Microsoft rolled out their latest optional preview bug fix update for Windows 11, KB5012643, um, which rolled out near the end of April last month. Now, these optional bug fix preview updates, which are also known as C-release updates, um, are optional, so you don't have to install them. And if you don't install them, because they are preview updates, a lot of the fixes in the update will be rolled out in the next month's Patch Tuesday compulsory um, automatic update anyway. Now, as I have posted previously, some users, after installing 5012643, um, experienced issues um, after booting their systems into safe mode, um, where they had issues like blinking and flickering screens, which I did post on. And Microsoft um, did fix that issue using a known issue rollback, which I did post a video on, and I'll leave a link to that down below if you're interested. Now, once again, unfortunately, 5012643 is causing more problems and issues on Windows 11 operating systems for some users who have decided to install the optional update. And this time it's to do with the .NET Framework 3.5 um, on Windows 11. And if you don't know what that is, the update just above that is a cumulative update preview for .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8. And in a nutshell, what the .NET Framework is uh, in a very simple description, um, if you're unaware, um, um, some apps um, need the framework to open, run, and work and function correctly on Windows. So it's a core component of the Windows operating system on both Windows 10 and 11. Now, as mentioned, it's causing issues. This update 5012643, and on a side note, that's why I always say when these updates roll out, only install these optional updates if you are having any issues with your system, else just leave the update alone and ignore the updates. As, as mentioned, a lot of those fixes will roll out in the next month anyway. Now, Microsoft has issued a warning um, uh, that Windows 11 users may experience issues with certain apps after installing the update, and this is to do with the .NET Framework 3.5 on Windows 11. So if we just go over to that announcement and warning, um, which is on the known issues section of their release health page, some .NET Framework 3.5 apps might have issues, which was last updated on the 3rd of May 2022. And they say, after installing the update, some .NET Framework 3.5 apps might have issues or might fail to open, as mentioned, because some apps need the framework uh, to function, open, and work correctly. So apps are failing to open and are having issues. Now, Microsoft says here at the bottom, this is obviously affecting uh, Windows 11 version 21H2, which is your latest stable version of the operating system. They say, we are working on a, a, a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So hopefully that will be sorted out by Microsoft before the end of this month in another update. But until that time, they have given some workarounds and some fixes you can try if you are experiencing the issue after installing the update. The first is uh, you can uninstall the update as it's an optional update. So it's not a security update and it's uh, quite easy to install these updates which should um, hopefully uh, solve the issue and to do this we just head uh, to your windows update again update history just scroll down to the bottom click on uninstall updates and this will open the legacy control panel uh, where you um, under uninstall and update you can find the update here 5012643 you click on it and um, you will see an uninstall button which you click on and what that will do is um, you just follow these steps um, and then you'll have to restart your uh, device and that will uninstall the update from your, your system and hopefully resolve the issue. And if you click on it and you don't see uninstall, it means then that you have run a disk cleanup which will remove some aspects from the updates uh, in the Windows operating system and then you won't be able to uninstall the update. But uh, if you haven't run a disk cleanup, you will be able to uninstall the update from the legacy control panel. And... Something else you can try at Microsoft uh, suggests here in uh, this uh, their post here on their release health page is um, you can try um, re-enabling the .NET Framework 3.5 in the control panel. And to do this, uh, we just head over back to the legacy control panel. And this time we go to the control panel home, programs and features. And here you'll see turn Windows features on or off. And 
Um, if you haven't got the update, the, the little box checked next to .NET Framework 3.5, just enable it by clicking on the box. And if you have it enabled, just and, and you are experiencing this issue, just uh, disable it and then re-enable it again. And then you just follow the prompts and you might have to, not, not all the time, but you might have to restart your machine after those um, that uh, .NET Framework 3.5 has been applied. And that could possibly resolve the issue. And then another way you can enable uh, .NET uh, Network 3.5 um, is by running a command prompt if you are an IT admin. And to do this, um, uh, if you don't know where command prompt is, you can just do a search for it. And then all you do is you go to command prompt, right click on it, run as administrator. And I'm not going to um, uh, 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 enable 3.5 because it, already, uh, it is already enabled. And then you just copy and paste this command into command prompt. And once you've pa pasted it in, it will re-enable the .NET Framework 3.5 on your system. And I will leave uh, a, a, a link to this uh, known uh, the, um, release health page down below where you can check this out more in depth and you can also copy and paste this into command prompt if that is something you would like to try to resolve the issue. And as mentioned, Microsoft say that if any of these fixes don't work, then they are working on a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.